Northeast Georgia's water supply is at risk of contamination. Too many prescription pills and drugs are polluting more and more of our water. North Georgia just has all these fresh water uh, systems in the mountains and it's so beautiful, but our waters are getting polluted with all these oh, excess oh. drugs that are getting flushed into the system and from our, our landfills. Chuck Lewis with the Stevens County Anti-Drug Coalition says protecting the water supply and helping prevent misuse and abuse of these drugs is important. It's so important that the anti-drug group has joined forces with the national campaign called P2D2 or the Prescription Pill and Drug Disposal Program. High school teacher Paul Ritter started the program in Illinois. We're going to clean up the water systems. We're going to uh, clean up the streets of these prescription drugs and uh, there's going to be some uh, advantage to recycling some of these even to free clinics. So some of these drugs will be able to go back to where people can use them at no cost. The program has distributed several drop boxes like the one you see here to police offices and pharmacies in neighborhoods. The boxes are supposed to be a convenient and more eco-friendly way of disposing drugs. We need everybody's support. Uh, all civic leaders need to be involved. So far, those involved around the nation have been able to get more than 95,000 pounds of prescription pills and drugs disposed using the P2D2 system. In Tacoa, Amelia Hines, WNEG News, Northeast Georgia.